Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dork's Dally. The sword is here. Dork's Dally. Here it is. Here it comes. Coming right at you. Hello, everyone. What I what is today? Is it Tuesday? I don't even know. I'm so fired Tuesday. up right now, it's guys. Our first day back. It is our first day back. And I talked to somebody about our car. If you don't know, our car has been having battery issues. This is like the third battery problem in like what? Okay. A couple months, two months. Yeah. All right. Batteries. So guess what the problem is, guys? Did you guess? Tell them. The battery. Again. They the keep battery. saying, they keep beating this dead horse that the, the battery, battery is the problem. They're like, well, the first time there was one with the bad cell that we gave you. Now this time. It was sometimes, you know, unfortunately it was on the shelf too long. And, no, no, um, it's inexcusable. Yeah, and it, and it wasn't, uh -huh. we don't, I'm, tr I'm I believe, because that's the only thing I can figure out, because all of the codes are coming back fine. They checked all the, what did they check? What's the fuses or the yeah, shorts? Or, I, I did see this thing. The draws. He said they, he checked yeah, all the draws. That's I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, so he said that today. Yeah. So that's where I was like, he said that um, he checked all the draws. None of them, nothing's drawing or whatever. Ain't no draws. It is. There ain't no draws. Ain't no All right. And uh, ain't no artist in the room. He said that he, they fully charged the battery and with their official charger of life. And they, they're just saying that they don't think it was fully charged when they gave it to so me. So that means they gave us that battery recharged. I have no idea what they did. And I don't know what this battery is in here now. But all I know is if this happens again, I'm going to go bananas. I'm going to drive that okay. car through the front windshield yeah. wind window of that right. place. I'm going to go nuts so in this dealership. I'm going to like demand a new vehicle. I'm going to say, think fast and throw the keys at some guy and then walk out. I'm going to go crazy. All right. I'm going to make them buy it off. She me. argued with the guy too. At a million like, dollars. No way. It's the bad. Okay. For my pain and suffering. Pain and suffering. Yes. So, well, so we came up with a, a solution. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. As if we're driving some like 1950s old car. vehicle that barely runs, we're gonna buy a jump box. Well, I, I would think a lot of people here would argue that you should have a jump box. Yeah, we probably should have one. It's responsible. So, but I should not need one. However, I feel like I do need one now. Yeah, but like we have a jump box. We have it's to get a jump box AAA. because yeah, but we might be in a situation where we can't wait like that. No. Like, I'm taking Lily to get her nails done. Okay? Can't wait. Her nails cut. Lily don't wait. What if it doesn't start and me and Lily are out in, like, the heat? Lily don't like that crap. Like, no. Lily lay, lay down. It's, it's just not good. Gosh. So, I'm, like, fired up right now because I don't believe this battery nonsense. And I just know this is going to happen again. And I just got to, I'm going to have to I thought they it. were going to have the car for, like, six months. I thought they were going to tell me it was one of the other things wrong and they replaced it. Anyway, by the way, the Tundra. We're ranting and raging. We picked the Tundra because we were like, all right, we need a car that's going to run forever. Yeah, we wanted a we car with buy. zero problems. Yeah. And we're not car people. So like, we don't like, you know, you, some of you guys love a new car every three years, two yeah. years. We're just like, we don't care. I want it like all reliable. Yeah. That's what I wanted. They were like, that's the Tundra, the Tahoe. Now, hopefully. This is just them playing reindeer games with the batteries, and we're fixed now. But I, I just have no faith. I have zero faith. We didn't talk about. I feel bad. Oh yeah, guys, we didn't talk about the vlog, the um, our St. Thomas event. St. Thomas breakdown. <laughs> what was the other thing we didn't mention? Well, we didn't talk about. Oh, it. we didn't talk St. about Thomas football day. this weekend. Let's talk about opening day too. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Let's start with opening day. <laughs> okay, first of all, I, I'm sure all Packers fans are happy as well that we're out of San Paulo. And you guys got out with your quarterback done for the year or whatever. He's injured. And we just, everybody fell. The, the game was horrendous. Absolutely was disgrace. Game. They should never play there again if they're going to have the field in that mm -hmm. condition. And I don't know why the coaches or the equipment guys have such problems with finding the proper equipment. But that was a disgrace to falling around. That game sucked. There's like a million orbs, but good. Yeah. Week, week one was rough in the NFL. It was rough. A yeah. lot of weird teams played yeah, horrible. Yeah, wasn't the best opening weekend. Can't right? take anything from it, but still, I don't want my team in Brazil. Mm -hmm. I'll just take them at home. No offense, Brazil, but it should be at oh, home. Oh, I want a vacation mm -hmm. there, but not yeah. play it, football. The, the game should be at home. Yeah. On one of the home team fields. And then what else do we want to say? We got to so, talk about St. Thomas, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the vlog if you watched it. Yes. If you didn't watch it, 
You should watch it. Okay, so the reason why I almost died is because I decided to have two giant bushwhackers or regular bushwhackers. Yeah, we had and we, some I drinks. went to walk and I realized we had no water. So we got like halfway down, probably a little less than halfway. And I was like, yo, I'm like, I'm so hot. I'm like, my heart wasn't going, but I was checking my pulse because I'm like, I check my pulse. You know, I haven't had water. Well, it's not out of the realm of possibility that you would be feeling stressed physically because the heat, the sweat, and knowing that you have no water. Yeah, you know, when scary. you're like in a situation where you're like sweat, like soaking wet. And yeah. you're like, I can't even bear this heat anymore. I'm taking my clothes off. Right. Um, and you have no water. It's kind of scary. scary. I was scared. Yeah, I started thinking, like, what are we doing? And then we And there was, no, there was a point of no return. Because once you're down those first couple, like, so you slopes, you can't go back. You look up and it's straight up. I you mean, can't guys, go back. You do not get an idea how steep it is. Yeah. And I, I've been messaged by so many people have been messaging me, by the way, guys. They're very nice people. Thank you, guys, everyone. Um, on Facebook and stuff messages. too, everybody messaging me, so cool. And everybody's like, yo, why would you do that? And I'm like, well, when I go back, I'm conquering that hill. But then I was thinking, I'm like, there was that Maybe one. You well, when I went down the one last one, remember when we stayed and I like kept going? I was like, you left and I'm like, I'm going back down another hill. It looked all right. I got down to the bottom. I was kind of worried. I'm like, there's no shade down there. But there was shade under that tree where I took refuge. And You would have to have a hat. Yeah. You would have to have water. Yeah. And you would have to have different shoes. And no alcohol. Yeah, no, the well, slides. Then what's the was, point? We're going up there and drinking. No, no, no. I'm going to go back walking. up. After I go up and go down, after I walk down, I'm going to go back up on the lift and I'm going to drink and celebrate my accomplishment. Is that your plan? That's my plan. Okay. Oh my God. Are you going to get, I wonder if you're going to get like a road crew. I don't know. I might have somebody who want to go down with me. Oh, I could go down with you. I mean, there might be some people who might get a little team together. I'll go down with you. We can have redemption. Uh, Mountain climb or yeah, descent. A mountain. The only problem I'm worried is <laughs> a redemption one, descent of the mountain. When I was sitting there holding on to that tree, I was trying to think. I'm like, yeah, what would we do? Get a rope, and like we could all like kind of go down the rope and then just leave it. Here's the thing, guys. I made it down, so you can make it down. Yeah, but okay? that one with the hill. Was no, like, but I'm just saying, if I like, did yes, it, I'm not in. Like, no, I don't, like, go to the gym. I'm not in fabulous shape, okay? Mm. If I did you it. walk a lot, though. Yeah, but I do walk, not on hills, not up and down mountains. Well, we're going down. I walk straight in going the neighborhood, up. okay? I don't walk, like, downhill even. Like, remember so. the French dude that walked by me to go up? Oh, yeah, he was Gosh, just, he like. he was just in perfect stride. He was, like, I'm, like, how are you walking up the hill like that? Doing? He must live somewhere where that man just climbs so long. He must be, but. Um, well, there's people that are mountain climbers, right? Yeah, but this dude was just walking up the hill. No, I mean, so anyone not that's done that, that knows what we're talking about. They know that hill. Yeah, but like, I know I can do it again only because I already did it. Yeah. And I know, and I think that you can do it again. I think you could finish it exactly. if you had proper hydration. Yeah. And if you had a hat on. I feel confident I could. If you had your like bucket hat on. And you had proper water. Sun, yeah. And we went up there with a big water. And you just went down with the water and you had it. And I think you'd be fine. Yeah, and with yeah, different yeah. shoes because you had those, he had slides on. Like a Guys, they were up New Balance ankle. slides. They were all the way. No, so I his, got Croc oh, slides. Oh, that's right. Oh, my God. Croc slides. So his Not feet, the ones that are Crocs, though. The Croc slides. Yes. The foot's open. Yeah, so the toes were going over the front of the shoe because of the Guys, incline. the shoe went up my ankle. So I had to take it off my ankle. You needed like a sneaker on. Yeah. So maybe like your black sneaks. Or regular Crocs might work. No. You know, like I think it'll hurt your foot because the incline was pushing his feet and it was like, yeah. I, I don't know. You don't think the Crocs would like... Work? I would just bring your sneaks. No, I would. You know I your black wear. New Balance? Yeah, I'd probably wear them. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's Jim's plan. I don't know if he's going to do it. But so I didn't like... almost, I mean, I didn't almost die, but I was sitting there like... Like it I is quit. dangerous. Yeah. yeah. It, it was dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't like we shouldn't have did it with no water, at least. That it was, was it was dangerous move. without water. I wasn't smart. I will say this though, it was not a drunk move. I planned on doing it when we were Yeah, we weren't we weren't drunk like that. You saw the video, we weren't drunk like that. Yeah. I mean we were buzzed, but we weren't drunk where you're like, oh. let's do it. And everyone asked about the hype thing. I am deathly afraid of heights. I know. That was so, a big deal for Jim. To, it's funny, though, how you can walk. You wanted to walk down. You weren't afraid of the heights that I have much. no fear of going down. Because you're, cause you're on the up. ground, I think, too. Yeah. Well, would you, you wouldn't take that thing down, though, would you? Oh, I probably would, yeah. 
Yeah, I could go down. I can't go up. Because going up is you're going up. Okay. It's like when you take off in an airplane, my fear is going up in the airplane, not coming down. Oh, anymore. okay. Okay. Well, but guys, speaking of St. Thomas, we are going there on our first group cruise. I still have rooms available mm -hmm. and you can still book it. So if anyone's interested for April 13th, 2025, so this coming April, I still have some rooms left. You still have time to book it. So if you want to book it, email me, cruisedorksog at gmail com and uh, I'll get in touch with you and we'll get you booked. We also have two other group cruises on the horizon too. We can talk about that as well. But yeah, we are going to St. Thomas though in the first one. That's a good one. So I'm excited because I want to go back to St. Thomas. Like you don't understand guys, as soon as we got home from this cruise, and I know you always want to book a cruise when you get home because you're like, I love it. I want to go right back. But I especially, I'm like, I was, all I was doing was searching St. Thomas. I guys, book a cruise at St. Thomas just for the visuals. St. Thomas? Oh my God. Even Set if you don't go up to that mountain. time you get there. Even if you don't go up there, it was just the view from the ship in the morning was just like. Yeah, you don't have to go anywhere. But being up there was a beautiful Yes, there. I recommend going up there whether you get the lift, the cab, walk. Like you, <laughs> if you have a balcony or you don't have a balcony, yeah. you want to be like at a window or an area where you can see off the ship as you're pulling. Well, if you St. get an Thomas. inside room and you go to St. Thomas, just get up early. Don't get drunk the night before. Be up early and get out there on the pool deck and just, just enjoy watch it. the whole cruise in. You will be like. Oh my god! Every building. Was I can't believe it building. was breathtaking. Every, oh, it was really. Beautiful. It really was. The camera. I mean, it might look pretty and all, but it doesn't even like. No. It doesn't even do it justice to what you see. Never gets no. it. No. Never fully gets it. No. All right. What do we have to talk about today, guys? Um, let's talk about this nudie Judy first. Adelaide. The woman who was photographed naked, okay, on the Utopia of the Seas on her uh, balcony. And I think she had was like, I don't know if she ever showed frontal nudity. I, she might have. Full frontal nudity, nudity? I saw in the video, I might have missed the beginning of the video, but I know she definitely showed the back. She did? I know she definitely did. Wasn't she thinking kids okay? watching? And yeah, it is not allowed. Uh, somebody taped her from another ship. Yeah, I don't know what ship taped her. We do that, so but that's be careful like for a next fabulous hour video. Ship. Like, good for you catching that. Yeah, it's a good news. That's like shot. a good catch. That's a, that's a good Because most shot. people wouldn't even see that. No. How many people do that every single cruise? How like, many people? Naked? Yeah, that no one sees. I'm sure people have done that. All the time. I'll tell you what that was. That was somebody that didn't know that we might be next to a ship. Yo, I think they were in Coco Cay. Well, and you know what's funny? What's the Coco though? K? The mattresses on the balcony, nudity on the balcony. People are like really going wild in Coco K. Okay? They're naked people. And I don't I've... think, listen, I don't think I, there was questions about what anything happened to this woman. People saw it from another ship. I don't see how they could like say what room Did it was. Did she not know that there was a ship on the other side of her? I'm pretty sure she knew and was putting on a show. So she was doing it for the It magazine. looked like a little show. She's probably drunk. She's probably just like, was it like We're daytime? Going on. Oh, yeah. She came home from uh, Kay, the adult She came out from the adults, the adults only area and she was so fired she was up. Not. She 100% saying... got the drink package. Like, 100%. So she was a little drunk. Tipsy. I think so. Now, and listen to this. She's like, let this. me go out in the balcony naked so other people could see me. Yeah. Well, or do you think she was partying listen. with her husband? Listen to this. Okay. Nudity on balconies is not allowed, all right? And anywhere else on the ship. However, Norwegian, okay, is doing a nude cruise. This person needs to get that invite. Okay. They're doing a nude cruise. I can't even imagine being on that ship. I would love it. I actually want to go on there and not be nude, but, like, just... Remember the swingers cruise? This. I was like, we just, no, I just want to go be a fly is, on the wall. This is different. They're going to have a nude cruise. It is going. We're just going to walk around. Naked. February third to February fourteenth, um, twenty twenty five. So next year, okay? It's called the Big Nude Boat. Oh my God, guys! It's going to be. Let me tell you something. It's going to be on the Norwegian Pearl. Yes. All right. Like, let me ask you a question. Do you want to go on the Pearl on the sailing after that cruise? No. Because there's balls everywhere. Like, they need Every to reupholster all yeah. the seats. They need to spray down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's going to suck. That is disgusting. It's just not sanitary. I can't believe. Forget, like, not wanting to see people naked. Forget that. It's well, not sanitary. Want to see people naked? Yeah, but it's not. No. Just for fun. You don't sometimes. want to see everyone. Well, let me but tell you something. But Every, it's not sanitary. Everybody that thinks that they're going to see, like, Brad Pitt, this is what you're going to see on there. 
Guys my size, no clothes on. You put on there afterwards. What was on the seat? You're gonna get pink eye. Yeah, you better not, you better not like, put your eye on the seat. That's where I'm at with. Don't you. put your eyes on any chairs. Well, if you touch it, if you say you're just stand there, you touch a seat. Then you like touch your face, like no, I touch my face How's all the, the time. How's the nude cruise gonna go? Is it like a full nude? No, listen times? to this. Listen, when the ship is at sea or anchored in a port, passengers can be nude. <laughs> oh. So you can get naked when you're at sea or if you're in port. But listen, mm. however, unless announcements have been made to the contrary, when a ship is docked alongside in port of another ship, all passengers must be dressed. Okay, throughout the vessel, including balconies, until the ship leaves port, an announcement has been made that nudity is again possible. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I think that is just so funny. I don't know why I think it's the funniest thing. So here's my thing. You it's said like you're allowed to be naked. Be it's like, all right, everybody, like take your clothes off. <laughs> so you can, <laughs> when they're going to port, you can be naked. Maybe a, a tender port. Maybe you can be. Oh, that makes sense. Maybe a port yeah. that's a tender port. You can be nude. They're like, we're in port, but guess what? Keep them off. Has anyone ever done a nude cruise? Please let us know. Well, I'll tell you what. Or even a cruise back in the day when people used yeah, to get nude on the Imagine that, that packing. Can. You wouldn't have to pack nothing. Well, you have some. Yeah, but you don't have to pack much. Cow. Why? Oh, just to dry off? Somebody told us that like Carnival used to have like a deck that they would be naked on. I don't know. I think someone said that. But I have on? no idea about that. I can't. Yeah, someone told me that like back in the day. I don't know. I don't know when that was. But how funny is that? It's like amazing. What else do we got? Uh, oh, there's a new cruise tax, okay, for Santorini and Mykonos. Is that how you say it? Yeah, sounds good. It's a $22 US dollar, so I think it's 20 in their money, 22 in our money, um, tax that's going to apply during the peak summer cruise uh, a person months. Like yes. Okay, or just for like months? I would think a person. They're doing a tax now, and like they up the tax because the funds generated from the cruise tax will support the infrastructure and improvements on the uh, two islands. They believe that they're having like an infrastructure problem because of all the people coming. They can't handle it. I, like yeah. they don't have security. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have like stuff like uh, sanitation, maybe yeah. the trash. I don't mm -hmm. know. They have, they're yeah. saying that there's so many people. They said. Uh, they only want to, they're trying to get it limited to 8,000 cruise guests a day. 8,000. They're it's trying, like to, they're so trying to get that down to that. I didn't know there were that many. There's more there. than that. Oh they're like, God. we can't handle this, guys. Like, yeah, they're killing us. It's kind of like Merritt Island. I wonder There's so many people moving in. here, and it's like, you don't have enough here for what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody made a funny joke. They said the way you know, people that just came to Florida in the last three years, that it's going to break off at the panhandle. Yeah. The next two thin. Yes. They said that um they believe that the situation has reached a point at this point where the infrastructure limits are being tested. Wow. Like, it's just not. So, hey, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. You want it to be pleasant for people to come there. If your situation there isn't good, it's not going to be good. Yeah, they cause... have to charge more money. Right. They said that it's impossible for these two islands to handle five ships arriving at the same time. How about that? They just can't handle it. So they're up in the, they're, so they can can handle it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm with them on it. So that's cool. I get it. And what else? We got John Heald, okay? <gasps> John's back in. Listen, John Heald uh, reminded people on Facebook that camo clothing is still banned in some countries. Okay? Oh, well, that is true. He had to remind people because the reason why is a guest was asked to return back to the ship in Nassau. He had all his camo on. Yeah. He was and they, going you, they'll tell you to go back to the ship. They, you have to go back. Yeah. I didn't think that was true. You know that? I thought that was like a, like no, a, myth, I, like someone a, told me that an urban legend. I thought it was an somebody urban legend. Somebody told me that certain countries, like you might be wearing the, the ops like camo. Yeah. Well, guess what? I just didn't really believe that. No, I like to wear my camo. I thought it was it's, like it's stealthy. I a lot like of people wear camo. Me. Like Jim has a camo shirt. I do. He has two. And it's real. And it's just I like a two. thing. Like I have, I have camo two. pants. Oh, I have that camo t-shirt. Yeah, I, I have two camo pants. They're so just like camo, camo leggings. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes they're cute, but yeah, you can't. So John Heal had to re-remind people because. There was a person who was asked to go back to the ship in Nassau. That's crazy. Don't you think so here's where you can. Nassau, Barbados, St. Lucia, Jamaica, Trinidad, and Tobago, 
No camo. Who's Nassau ever been at war with? What is it like in a... Now, I'm guessing Nassau situation Nassau is... should be like, you can't wear pirate hats. What? <laughs> Who cares if you wear camo in Nassau? Oh, that guy's got camo on, man. Like, that dude... What do you got camo... You're in the... What do you... Military you're in? We're, we're not getting along with um, Freeport right now. So, and they're wearing that camo. Like, who wears camo in Nassau? I can understand, oh, like, wow. Beirut or something, or, like, Brazil or somewhere. I no, don't know. Beirut is a country, real quick. No one wants to go there. No, listen, no, listen I, I never, ever hear about Beirut. Yeah. I can't tell you when I've heard about Beirut since. Since my father, in the 80s, always referencing Beirut. Yeah. Do you ever hear of anyone talking about Beirut now? No, because that was a, we had a conflict with them. But my dad always referred to it as it. an area yeah, that didn't have that. No, that didn't have anything. Uh, like my mom would be like, or like, or we would we would say like, um, oh, we're out of let's just say toilet paper. We well, live in Beirut. My dad would be like, well, we're not in Beirut. Just go get some. He would always like reference Santa. Beirut as Ooh. like the place. They're not wiping their asses in Beirut, Mike? No, his point was, is we don't live somewhere that, yeah, that doesn't have yeah, anything. Yeah. But he always used Beirut. Beirut got it. Why was Ethiopia Beirut? Ethiopia got it in my house. Or, uh, oh, Ethiopia? not Ethiopia, <laughs> Biafran. I don't even know where that is. My mom would be like, Biafran? well, like, if I didn't eat, like, well, first of all, I was fat. I ate everything. Nothing, nothing was ever left over. But um, if, like, I didn't like something and I was like, I don't like that. I don't like, like, mushrooms I wouldn't eat. My mom's like, no. And in Ethiopia, you know how hungry they are? And I'm like, no, I always thought that when we met that guy from Ethiopia, he like spoke perfect English and he was like in good shape, you know, and I was just like, he's like, we're myself, fine. like aren't you supposed to be hungry, sir? Like, we're fine. That's <laughs> a myth. Like, we're doing It's an urban legend. But Why you, didn't my mom do so that? So you heard Ethiopia. Yeah. You I heard Beirut. Beirut. I don't know. I just think it's funny that I never, ever hear about, yeah, I never hear about Ethiopia either anymore. How about this? My father's never been to Beirut and if he was somewhere that was like really rough or bad or like we are bedroom me and my brother like he come in the bedroom and be like oh my god what is this Beirut yeah and I'd be thing? like oh well what what's Beirut is messy in Beirut <laughs> and you know apparently you can't get anything and it's a mess yeah but does know. anyone even vacation in Beirut or I don't know anything about Beirut? Beirut we're gonna have to look up a Beirut video later how funny yeah. is that guys Beirut's on the list okay you can't don't wear camo Beirut. don't wear camo you can't you probably can't wear camo in Beirut Someone tells me they don't even wear camo because they're like, it's really tacky, you don't wear camo. Really, you shouldn't wear that anymore. That's like so, like, I'm a survivor, okay? Uh, Nassau's got to be gang Destiny's child, something. like, they, yeah. it's over. Yeah, you, what are you doing with this camo <laughs> on, sir? Remember that? Remember yeah, the video? Yeah, I remember the video. I thought, yeah, I love that video. <laughs> that video was on every single yeah, day in our house for, like, yeah. its entirety. The camo. Oh my god. The camo cooler. Anyway, now. let's talk about this accident in Alaska and Skagway. The bus Skagway tipped over. over. Yes. Guys. guys. Can you imagine being bus jammed up there with everybody all over? Like... Could you imagine? You're just like riding along, you got your headphones on, maybe you're like, you know, listening, and all of a sudden you're just like are you can't, I can't believe that everyone's alive. So Thank they drive God. like they do. Okay, but <laughs> yeah. How? So they drive in Skagway like they do in like. Oh, in island. Bermuda? Oh my God. They Bermuda. must be like, like, are you kidding me? Bermuda's they like flipped. a joke to try to kill you while you're driving. They flipped. Guys, they flipped. Oh my God. 25 oh. people were on the tour bus. The bus overturned on the Klondike Highway. Okay? Klondikes are good. Everybody, I love what would you do for, for a, a Klondike, Klondike bar? bar? Anything. I want the one with the nuts in it, too. Do you want nuts? See, I, I don't want, want the nuts. I want the nuts. I just want it just the, it the old school. You, you know who stuff. else? Talking about my dad. My dad, he loved Klondike bars. Yeah. He didn't eat much sweets, but he liked a Klondike bar. They would randomly be in my freezer. Oh, yeah. Like I'm once a about. year, there would be like a six-pack of them. Weren't they oh, never? They were like in a sleeve. A tin foil, you undo them. Oh. Like a present. They had the, 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 the shell. I love you the shell. You just tap on it. The worst is, though, when they get warm too fast and it starts sliding around oh. the shell. And no, you, you need it, like, fresh out of the box. You got to get into that thing mm -hmm. right away. Yeah, you know, that and a Snickers bar, ice cream. Oh, thing. the Snickers ice That's cream. That's underrated. Oh, my God. Love That's them. That's Snickers I bar. would get, well, my, the Snickers ice cream bar was second to the Chip Witch. I still like the Chip Witch the best. Chip Witch. I always got a Chip Witch at the oh, corner like store Witch, because I was really. eating around the edges. Oh, that's a shame. Did you eat around the edges? Well, I eat around the edges now and give you the inside because I thought you liked the plain part. 
No, there's more cookie. It overlaps on the edges. Yeah, I know. So I always like the edges. I just edge. want the whole chocolate party. The cookie you yeah. want. Well, no, no. I Hell eat the edges it, the, because let me I ask get you the, something. all the, the chips. How is the chip, which though, oh yeah, that too. But, go for it. But listen, how, is, how does the cookie on the chip, which stay soft? I don't know. And how does the caramel in the Snickers stay, stay oh, soft? Because it's got salt in it and it doesn't really fully freeze. So good. It, once you bite into it, it's like melting. We should get one each and split split one each. We'll go get it on the way to the cruise. No, we'll be a mess in the car. What? I can't eat that before I get on a cruise. All right, fine. We'll do it one night on here on after work. Maybe we'll do it like on a Friday night. It's a Friday night party. <laughs> I love that shell around it. Can we make our own? I want to make my own right now. All right, listen. Enough Go about ahead. that. What else Go do we got? Anyway, on the, the Klondike Highway, this thing happens. And Helen America and Princess uh, tour buses help them. So That's crazy, guys. It was nuts. Imagine going through that. Imagine. Like, I just can't believe that everyone survived. Thank God. But that's a miracle. No, you're all jammed. That's a miracle guys. People that people were on top survived. Of people. It was like an old lady smashed face against you, like yes. ah! <laughs> screaming and shit because you think you're going to die. And you're thinking like, oh my God, that's how people die. We're all jammed in here. <laughs> and I just hope if I fall, I'm like the guy against the wall. You know wall. what you're going to do? You're going to cushion somebody. I, I hope. What if I was on the end that you're way? You're going to wait. You're going to do two things at once. You ready? One's bad and one's good. You're going to cushion. You're going to crush and cushion. I'm gonna crush you. you no, because I'll be right next now. to the window. You're gonna crush the person that side. Because if we go, unless we go my way, then I'm dead. We'd have to literally <laughs> next time I get on one of the but buses. But if, I'm, I'm if we go sure. this way, I'm gonna just bounce off you. Yeah, but I'm gonna ask the driver. If, this we, way, if we like, tumble, which way will we tumble? And if he's like the right side, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna get on the right. Because my luck, I'll be the dude the smashing everybody, and they're like, like get him off. So I'm like, I can't even do that. I'm oh jammed up here. Anyone, was anyone on that bus? What do you, let me know what you think about oh, Thomas. I don't know. Was anyone on this bus? Skagway's going through it, ain't they? Alaska, Juno, Alaska's like. They got mudslides. They got problems. flipped over cars. They got no right. internet. What else do we got? Royal Caribbean, okay. The you know, you know the 274 day cruise Royal Caribbean did, which is fabulous on the Serenade of the Seas, um, which I wish I was on. Uh, is coming to an end or it just came to an end. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, they announced on the cruise a reunion cruise. Okay. They're going to have a reunion cruise of all the people that were on this. It's a week. Okay. So that's going to be like a reunion, yeah. like a reunion cruise. Because I'm sure all these people became like best friends or enemies oh my God. or both. I would love to see um, this situation. Anyway, it's going to be on September 7th of next year. Okay, on the same ship, Serenade of the Seas. And during the cruise, they're going to announce the next world cruise. Wow. And these people that are on the ship are going to have first dibs to book it. No one's going to so book it. So they're going to announce it on there, like, before they release it to the public. So everyone on the ship can get first crack at it. I'll tell you this. Yeah. I think before you book that cruise, if you're going to book that cruise, you got to see how many people rebook that cruise. And if no one does, if it's like 20 people, do not do that cruise. Royal Caribbean guys announced that they will resume visits to Labadee, Haiti. They stopped crazy. going there March of this year, yeah. and they're going to start going back in October. The Adventure of the Seas will be the first ship there. Now, let me ask you a question. What has changed between Nothing. March and Nothing. now? Nothing. In October. I, you know I cut Haitians. We talk to all the Nothing. time. It's absolutely That's really the same weird. there. Okay. They say there's no government... There's, I mean, maybe there is now. I don't, I don't understand that. I guess they're going to advise to stay in the cruise port, but I wouldn't get off the ship, I can tell you that. Well, I just don't okay. think it's safe, and I don't know why they would even put the security risk out there. I have no idea why they're going back to Haiti. It's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Yeah, I don't like it's it. It's not safe, guys. From what I'm hearing from people that are coming in the barbershop that are Haitian, there's a lot of Haitians in Florida, but they're great people. But some of the people we've talked to that are here working at the port, whatever, when I ask them about Haiti, they're like, oh my God, there's yeah, no, it's, not it's good. so bad. But anyway, lastly, um, a 12 year old uh, fell from a balcony on Royal Caribbean. <sighs> um, terrible, the harmony of the seas. He fell from um, one of those inside balcony rooms. Um, he fell into the, um, what is it called? The Central Park area. So that is very, very terrible. We pray for his family. 
but yeah. Yeah, guys, so I don't like to you say. You gotta really watch your kids on those balconies, right. inside, outside. Kids do crazy things. Sometimes they don't think, and tragedies happen. Accidents happen all the time. So I guess you gotta just watch your kids. But it's very unfortunate. Um, I feel so bad. They could have been watching them. It literally could happen in a second. Yeah. You know how things are. You could turn your back. And anyway, guys. So have a good night. We're going to go. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for coming out. Uh, hopefully I'm getting my car back tomorrow. So it's we'll fine. see how that goes. It. It's just the battery. And right. we're going to buy a jump box because I don't trust this situation. You know what we should I'm do? Scared. We need to play the lottery. Because oh, if we did that where we had three batteries go, I think we could win the lottery. <laughs> Let's go play. You think? Yeah. Let's get a ticket. Let's play Let's the number. Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.